So in this question, we're given an arbitrary pair of functions, so f of t in the time domain and f of omega in the frequency domain. And we're asked for the Fourier transform of f of 2t. So the only thing that's changed is that the independent variable has been multiplied by 2. So we have a compressed version of the function f of t. We don't know what the function is, but it doesn't matter. We want it, or we want the answer in terms of uppercase f of omega. So clearly this is a case of scaling. So we just need to implement the scaling property. So the scaling property clearly shows that if you multiply the independent variable by a in the time domain, then you divide the independent variable omega by a in the frequency domain, and you also scale by a factor of 1 over a, or the absolute value of a. So in this case, um, a is 2, so the answer is straightforward. It's simply 1 over 2 f of omega over 2. So that's straightforward. The next question is just an indication of linearity, really. So if you multiply your function by some constant, 3, then the Fourier transform will similarly be multiplied by that same constant. So that's straightforward. The one after that asks for f of t over 2. And really, there's not much difference here. The only difference is that here, a equals a half, whereas in the previous questions, a was equal to 2. So you would, here, you'd have 1 divided by 1 over 2. which is just 2. So it's 2 f of omega divided by half, which is simply 2 omega. And the next question is the same. You've got 3 f of t over 2. So you'd have 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 f of 2 omega. And the final question has a fraction here. So 1 over 3 times f of t over 2. And you simply have that same multiple, 1 over 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by f of 2 omega. Okay, because the value of a hasn't changed. It's still a half. So we still have that 2 here, and we still have that 2 here. 